Tech and media companies are spending big bucks to drum up buzz at this year's South by Southwest Festival in Austin, Texas. Julia Borson is there with a look at some of the hottest demos. Julia. Well, Morgan, a lot of both the tech and the marketing experiences we've seen here at South by Southwest have been about bringing consumers into immersive experiences. The most dramatic example of this we've seen here is HBO's creation of the world of Game of Thrones. Go forth and fight for life! HBO clearly spending millions of dollars on this interactive experience, with 80 actors outfitted in original costumes from the show to impress the 3,000 people who pass through and get them to spread the word to millions more. Using this immersive world to kick off a blood drive in partnership with the Red Cross, saying it's already lifting the number of new donors nationwide by 40%. Also looking to draw cutting-edge consumers here, the first-ever personal drone used for recreational flights. <laughs> Lyft Aircraft, no connection to the ride-sharing service, giving a virtual reality demo of the 15-minute flights it plans to offer starting this year. In addition to tons of virtual reality demos, augmented reality is in focus, with tools like this one to virtually try on glasses. We're seeing more robots like these LG prototypes and more artificial intelligence like this Lockheed Martin exoskeleton to give people superhuman strength. Another big trend we're seeing here this year, electric scooters. There are at least five companies. This one is Jump which is owned by Uber. They're all over South by Southwest. They are littering the streets and they're all trying to compete for market share among the early adopters here. Guys, back over to you. And uh, Julie, there's a bit of a, a, a political twist as well this year, as there has been in past years. What's the vibe? Is that something people are embracing towards or, or would they rather it stay fun and, and lighthearted? Well, I think that, look, I think there's some very big questions facing the tech community here. And so I think it makes sense that they're being discussed. I do think that we're seeing more political speakers than ever on the stage in the convention center, which is here behind me. We had Senator Amy Klobuchar calling on a ta for a tax on the big tech companies, saying they should have to pay for their use of consumer data. Then we had Senator Elizabeth Warren. She doubled down um, on her push to really break up the big tech companies. She spoke specifically about both Facebook and Amazon and some of these other giants. So I think it makes sense that this year in particular that this would really be in focus. And we have just so many candidates for the 2020 election here. Yeah, Julia, that exoskeleton from Lockheed Martin is, is really something. I know they've been developing that potentially for the Defense Department. Uh, but in terms of, I know you've been covering this for years now, in terms of what you have seen, what has surprised you the most this year? I mean, I think what's kind of amazing, Morgan, is we're seeing some of these technologies, which were very far out, very futuristic, really seem to come to fruition this year. We were hearing about flying cars, and now we see this drone, which is getting ready to take flight and take consumers up in the air for $250 to be able to pilot your own one-person drone. So that seems pretty accessible. Um, and, and sort of really close to happening. I mean, this is the first year we've seen scooters here. You see people zipping behind me. And I think even the robots are, are much closer to reality. I mean, a lot of those robots, like the ones we saw um, in LG's demo, those are about home assistance and connecting your home. So I think the future is here, and these are the companies that are really trying to sell it to consumers. And, Ju Julia, from drones to thrones, can, can anyone <laughs> sit on, on the throne there, or was that a special treat? <laughs> It was a special, it was a special thing. I, I asked very nicely and uh, they let me sneak up onto that throne. It, I have to say oh. it wasn't very comfortable, but it felt great to sit up there. Well, the power kind of uh, overtakes <laughs> the need for comfort, I think. Yeah. Uh, Julia, great stuff. Thank, <laughs> exactly. thank you very much. <laughs>